It's broke. <gasps> I think it's a bad bruise. I don't think anything's broken. Pop a spot right here for a sec. Let me just poke on your neck. All right. So you didn't whiplash or anything? This is Emily. What's up, Em? Hi. How are you, young lady? I'm good, how are you? Great, looking good in the neighborhood. So nice to meet you. Dr. Tim, is that what you go by? I go by whatever you want to call me. What are you a doctor of? Uh, chiropractor. Are any aches and pains on you? Ooh. Everywhere. Everywhere? Yeah, everything hurt. The Mexico trip, it was physically exhausting, especially when I jumped off that freaking 30-foot platform. Dr. Alex is going to stretch you on that one. She's not on your pair. And so I am happy to, like, get some kinks worked out, get some relief. Oh! Tim, stop! Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> OK, I'm not going to lie. It does feel a lot better. My job is to take care of you, beautiful. Thank you. I love my job. I'm thinking that maybe Shannon is secretly like a masochist. Like, maybe she likes all this torture sh BDSM. What's BDSM stand for? Big dick spanks monkey. <laughs> Have you talked to anyone? I saw Gina yesterday. How's she doing? I felt really bad for her. Yeah, I think she's better. I mean, she was really hurt by everything that kind of revealed itself. I adore Heather, but at the same time, I, I find out you're talking about me behind my back. I think she feels like she constantly puts in the effort, and then she just gets, you know, pushed away like she doesn't matter. She was really upset. My god, I love it here. Oh, I like this. The ring master. Oh, hi. hi. I uh, found there's so many things here. This so is exciting. I am gonna keep with my theme all year. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna be an evil clown. I love it. <laughs> if it ain't broken, you know. <laughs> Halloween is my favorite, 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 favorite holiday ever. I want to have a Halloween party. So next week, when we get back from Mexico. And I was really inspired by the Cirque performance in Mexico. I mean, you know, my friends are absolutely a bunch of clowns. So I figured, total freak show. Do you need any help? Can you fix Heather DeBro? No. That would be helpful. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah. How are you? Mm -hmm. How's the kitchen here? So far, so good. Yeah? Plenty of room. Thank goodness Josh and Heather Altman found us this rental. We took a six month lease because it's the middle of the school year and Terry's practice is at Orange County. So we're pretty dug in here in OC. By the way, I haven't like had five seconds to. I, I just unpacked. We moved out of our house, went to a hotel. I basically got dog for five days in Mexico. You didn't tell us anything. Say, like, that's a big move. Like, yeah. You're calling me a snuffleupagus. But that's like saying that you tell me that you can't trust us. You are lying. You why? You said right out of You said to Emily that I said something horrible. I get it. I get it. You get to be accused. You get to be accused. No, you just because you say something you got to be. Gina believed that you called her a loser. Yeah, that's not like one of my words. I don't say that. And I would never say it about them. I've never thought of Gina and Emily as anything other than friends. Tamara doesn't lie. She just saves information. And then she's going to reveal it at the least opportune moment for you, which is why I don't tell Tamara sh I certainly wasn't talking about Gina or Emily. But everyone's scared of Tamara. Gene and Emily, when I first met them, told me when they joined this friend group that no one spoke to them. And Vicky agreed. You ignored me for four months. You made zero effort. So your friendships come naturally. I don't think they have to be, like, questioned so much. Oh, so the alpha girls are speaking to them now. Ah. So now, the head cheerleader, Tamara, came back and all of a sudden giving them attention. Wasn't there a movie like They're this? They're like lap dogs. What was the Heathers? movie? Heathers. I mean, I like Heather a lot, and I think she can be very kind and generous and care about other people, but there's a, another side of her that I'm seeing. Right, yeah. I'm sure Heather called me a loser. It wasn't Tamara. 
Tamara admits to what she says, and she apologizes for it. Tamara called you Shrek in front of Gina. I would like apologize for anything that I've ever said or done to you. But with Heather, I think she would rather shovel shit than have to look me in the eyes and apologize for anything. At the restaurant, I repeatedly said to her, what was the purpose of you saying that something horrible was said in New York to Emily? What positive is going to come out of that? We need to have a long, in-depth conversation with each other. I don't know what I hope to accomplish with Heather, but I would like for once for her to accept responsibility for something. I'm at the point with her where it's just like, well, yeah, of course, she'd say something like that yeah. or do something like that. Yeah. I feel like Heather has an image, and there's so much that she's protecting and upholding all the time. Yeah, but the thing is, right. let's just say that I was being malicious and mean and saying things about you guys in New York. Why wouldn't she sit down with me and go, you know, you were saying some mean things, like you were wasted, you, and, I, and right. I went, oh my God, I'm so like mortified, right. like are you serious? And yeah. I would have addressed it. The fact that Heather turned all this around and pointed the finger at me, like, you want to destroy people. You're not destroying me, bitch. Honestly, I was like, all right, enough already, because I have this party. So yeah. I texted her. That's interesting. Gina texted me. Just now? Well, I mean, I haven't looked at my phone. She texted me 20 minutes ago. Hey, period. Things in Mexico obviously did not end the way I would have hoped. I would like to sit down with you and talk about what happened. Please let me know a time that would work for you. I really value my friendship with Gina. So the fact that she would believe Tamara is so horrible, if she can't see where I'm coming from, then this really beautiful friendship is bullshit. Go in with an open mind. I don't have an open mind. My mind is half closed. All right, open it back up. I'm not gonna be disrespected. This is my integrity. Right. I've been a good friend to her, and if she will not admit the things that she said, take responsibility and apologize for them, there will be no moving forward with me. Coming up. I need to know for a fact that there's nothing. I slept with her one night. <laughs>